Hey everyone, welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. Today is day six of classroom setup. Um, and I'm gonna try to get a lot done today. My goal is to get the final three tables completely cleared off so that next week I can come in and start decorating. Another thing I wanna get done today is hanging the lights up around the whiteboard. Um, and so we're gonna see if I can get that done. I have Cash with me today, he's outside here playing with Hot Wheels. Hi, baby. Hi. Hey. Psst. I love you. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is I want to try to clear off the organization table, which is covered in all things like organization, book bins, um, like filing boxes, um, construction paper storage, kind of like more on like the storage end of everything. So what I want to do is kind of make a decision about where I want to put everything. I'm thinking if you watched in the last video, I like just talked about this, but I think I want to use this countertop space to store student um, notebooks and or binders. I don't know yet if I want to store their binders in here. They're going to have two binders. One is going to be their grade level binder and one is going to be their science and social studies binder because I'm teaching two subjects and I just want to have a place for them to keep all of their paper flow. Um, I like to hole punch all of the copies that I make for them so that they can be kept in their binders. Um, and the binder just really serves as like a giant folder for storing like mystery science, paperwork, um, any other like f journal things that they're doing. Like it's just kind of like a paper flow place, place for them to keep things um, and blank lined paper and things like that. So I think what I might do is use these book bins to store notebooks because my teammate, one of my teammates already had like three different colors being used and then there were folders in there. So I'm thinking that she's probably color coding her supplies. So I might go ahead and do that too, just to kind of keep it easier on the kids. Um, and I think I have enough book bins to potentially do like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I don't know if I can use teal. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Ooh, okay. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have enough green. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have enough purple and I have enough yellow to do three bins of notebooks and three bins of binders. But I don't know if the binders are going to fit in these. If not, I do have these bigger book bins that I thought about using. Um, and then color coding the notebooks by duct tape so that they know which homeroom they're in. Um, I thought about doing that. Another thing I pondered was potentially making each one of these big black book bins a table. And then for each block, there would be five notebooks. So that essentially there would be 15 notebooks in this one, but they would be specific to the kids that sit at that table. And then the notebooks themselves would be color coded by block. So there would be five pink, five yellow, five green. Pink would be block one, yellow would be block two, green would be block three. And then each, like whoever sits at each table, they put their book bin or their notebook, maybe potentially their binder could probably fit in here. Um, and then they can go to their table box and pick up their stuff because it'll be labeled by duct tape. So I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. Um, I kind of feel like I'm swaying more this direction just so that, um, cause I could probably use these elsewhere, um, or maybe just store them cause I have room to store them. So, um, we'll kind of see, I kind of feel like texting Nicole, who's my ELE teacher and see what her color ideas are. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that real quick, but otherwise I'm going to put all the other stuff kind of like away, um, in the meantime, while I wait for that.
All right, so I'm thinking that I will probably end up doing the book bins for storage because they're a little bit smaller and I don't know if I wanna store their binders in here. Um, the only way I'd be able to put these out on the counters is if I took this down and I really don't wanna do that. The other option I have is to put all of these back here and make this where I store their materials. But I just feel like I would rather use that back counter space as a lab place because there are plugs back there and I might need to plug things in. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is using these um, and doing just like their notebooks up here and then I'm not really sure about their binders. Mm -hmm. I might just end up having them keep their binders. Oh, I don't know, because I'm, I'm not gonna be able to fit five binders in here. What I could do is put their binders in these. Ooh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to ponder this. I could put my paper cutter over there or maybe on top of my thing and then I can just use it on that table since that's like my crafting area. And then I could put this somewhere else. Yes, honey. Yeah, it'll be fourth grade. I don't know where I'm gonna put this though because I could probably put it in here but then this is gonna have to go somewhere. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll have to fiddle around with it and see. All right, guys, here is the progress. So I did get the lights up around the whiteboard. And then I got this table cleared off. There's just a couple things on it that I still need to sort out. And it's funny, like stuff keeps moving from table to table, but these are just like the tools I'm using to like do things. And then this is just trash. And like cleaning stuff so really this isn't like a thing that needs to be dealt with like this is done it's just you know I have to sort it out um, and then this one's getting close to being done these are all my posters I don't think I'll use all of them um, so when I'm done and I need to store them I'm planning on like putting them so I put them in this box this is how I store all my flat stuff <laughs> put them in this box and then my plan is to just like drop the box behind here. Like I'll move the cabinet out a bit more um, and I'll just slide the box down in there so that all my like flat stuff can get stored. Um, this is empty. So I'm trying to like pull down all my empty stuff and like fill it with things. So a lot of my technology stuff that's on this table will probably end up going in this bin. In fact, why don't I just be smart and pull this over now so that I know that whatever I don't use from this table can go in here. <laughs> and then I have one more blue bin up there that doesn't have anything in it. Um, and so I'm thinking about what I'm gonna put in that. Probably like extra decor stuff that doesn't get used up, I'll probably put in there. And then everything else will be put away. So we're getting, we're getting there. Um, so let's talk about bulletin boards. Um, I want to do one here. Make this like my little space, like my board where I can put like my pictures and like my cutesy stuff. Maybe my good vibes thing could go there. I'm thinking either my good vibes up here, like on my black shelf or maybe over here. I have this clear file thing I want to hang like right here on the wall. And then maybe this clear one I could hang here on the wall because I want to be able to keep like paper stuff up and out of my way instead of on my tabletop. And then I'm thinking I'll put like all my like Darth Vader stuff here because I have like a bunch of Darth Vader decor, like little pictures and um, stuff. Um, so I'll probably do that. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna do I'm still waiting to hear from all of you guys because I know by the time, like during the time I'm filming this, 
I like just posted my classroom shopping and haul video. So I know that, um, like nobody has seen the, the next video where I ask for advice, but I'm thinking about doing one, two, three bulletin boards with my paper. Um, maybe one long one and two shorter ones border them and then in between each one I can hang one of my pictures you guys have seen these for years um and I'm thinking for the beginning of the year in the middle I want to do seat belts everyone and do Miss Frizzle um because I have my magic school bus that I made years ago I just need to put a new picture in it and like change the name of the school and then make it like magic school bus themed and then I'll do a social studies board and a science board. Um, and I am i don't know what I'm going to do yet. I think I might do like the five themes of geography there, just like simple. And then on this one, um, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. I don't want to, I don't really like doing silent teacher boards where I put like information up on the walls because I feel like the kids don't ever use them. So I don't like wasting my time. And then I'll be putting student work out in the hallway. Um, I also need to make my big because, and that will go up on top of the whiteboard right there. Um, and then I have these posters that help students with talking, like how to speak in a classroom. Um, and I really want to hang them, but I don't love the way they look. Like they're kind of... Like, I don't like the colors that they are, so I'm thinking about remaking them. And I don't want to laminate them because I feel like when they're shiny and you can't see them. But I want to recreate these. Um, I wish I could just, like, do, like, the like poster printing at, like, Office Max or whatever, but I don't want to spend the money to do that. Um, but I want to print something out like this where it's, like like purposeful sentence frames or like phrases that I want students to use in the classroom. Um, I ended up putting all of my binders, which I need to go through these ones and like consolidate because they have a lot of similar stuff in them. Like this one needs to be updated. <laughs> um, I put all my binders with like pretty much all my paper stuff. I don't really have a lot of stuff on paper, but I have like six minute solutions, read naturally, text stuff, like certain things that I've kept in binders and I just stuck it under my desk here. I don't use them that often, but I do use them for like small groups and intervention. So I'm going to keep those there. And then I also put this under here and I'm going to use this as like a desk space. Um, and so, yeah, it's just kind of, it's kind of coming together, um, slowly but surely. So my goal for the rest of the day, because it's almost two, is to finish getting this table cleared off, finish getting this table cleared off, deciding what posters are going to stay out and what posters are going to go away, and then um, maybe start doing a little bit more decorating. So yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so here's where we're at. Empty, empty, empty. <laughs> These need to go back in the cabinet. That needs to go back up so this doesn't count. And then all that's left over here are my posters, which I keep inside of this thing. Um, whenever I move them, I keep them in that. 
So that has to be put somewhere. Well, I guess that's kind of partly like decor, so I'm not gonna stress about it. So now that I've gotten the tables cleared off, what I would like to do is potentially put like five chairs on each table. That way the chairs are up off the floor and then I can start moving tables around and really like dial in the layout, like exactly where the tables are gonna be because all the other furniture is placed. Um, so nothing else is changing furniture wise except for the tables. Like they're all gonna be scooched back a bit because I want to have more space in the front. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use my sit spots, but what I might do is use the dots along here because that's where my students are gonna line up. So I might end up using those not as a floor seat option because it may not be feasible for me, unfortunately. But for when they line up, um, I always do line up in ABC order anyway. So what I can easily do is just have them like put, you know, one through 30 right here on the floor. And then when they line up, they line up on a dot. So we'll see. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put these away. Put all this away and then it's only 211 so i got that done pretty quickly i think what i might do then is maybe do my bulletin board since i already know what's gonna go on that and then that way i can start kind of doing a little bit of decorating i do still need to put this stuff away though this is like this is like small technology stuff and then this is like super random junk that was like either in this desk here or like in my drawers um, before. So I need to go through this and like pull out what I actually need. This I need to just put away. Um, and then I can actually start decorating. Like this stuff is gonna go in my desk drawers over there. And then, yeah, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do next is just kind of start. Um, I'm thinking these, my table buckets, I have such a hard time with these. And put a comment down below if you feel the same I'm not way. Sure I, understand. Well, I wasn't asking you. Uh, okay. Explain to me how you guys feel about this because I go both ways. I like having them, I think they're great, but they always just end up junked up and gross. And I just feel like, like I want to put them out. I want to put like crayons and five pairs of scissors and five glue sticks and all the things the kids are going to need. But I also feel like when I put these out on tables, they just either A, mess with them, B, put their trash in them, and C, they never clean them up anyway, no matter how much you ask them or remind them. Um, so I have half a mind to just like store them here all the time. And then when it's time to use them, we pull them out. <laughs> like I even wouldn't mind just putting like three and three there. But I really want to utilize this countertop as a station space at some point. Because I would like to do like station one, station two possibly, station three, station four, station five. And then maybe one on the rug in the front. Um, I just want to have enough station space. So anyway... Let me know in the comments how you feel about these. I've tried everything. I've tried these. I've tried the big ones. I've tried Sterilite bins, one for each table group. And no matter what I do, it always ends up happening where all the stuff is just thrown in there and it doesn't ever get cleaned up. And it's just annoying. So I like, I don't know. I feel like when it's time to do a notebook task, I could like, have the glue, the scissors, and like highlighters in there, and I could just drop them on a desk when it's necessary, and then they can just go put them back. Because I really just don't want to deal with the mess that they make with them. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to get back to work. I'm not going to film myself doing this work yet. If I decide to go work on my bulletin board, I will put that in this vlog, but I'm not going to film myself putting stuff away. Um just to kind of save, you know, that for later. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep jamming out to music and I will update you guys shortly, like right now.
All right, y'all, here is the final update of the room for the day. So, um, you'll notice that the chairs are all down on the tape and under, in under <laughs> the tables. Um, the tables have stuff on them again, but that's okay because everything that's on the tables is decor or walls. Um, so I also um, covered this little board here with butcher or bulletin board paper and a border. Uh, what else did I do? I brought my rug out to start flattening. Um, I ended up putting this chair here in the front. I probably won't, I don't know if I'll keep it there. Um, we'll see. It might just be like a cozy spot to sit for like morning meeting or something. I don't know. I need to take this tape off of the board. I just realized that. I hung up my date cards, which I don't know if I'm going to keep those. I don't love them. Um, I kind of want to print them on cardstock and just do white um, because they're kind of shiny and hard to see. And then what else? I moved my desk over to its final resting place. Um, and then my cart, my teaching cart is there. What else did I do? Oh, I hung my bulletin board behind my desk and I ended up framing my frizz dress picture. And then I hung this and I realized this isn't centered, but it's only on thumbtacks so I can move it. Um, I was thinking either move it to the center or scoot it over and then put something else there. Um, and then my Miss Frizzle box that my sister made me. So cute. I can't like lay it down. I need to display it. What else did I do? Um, I kind of just like put little random things in places just as like a way to ponder where they're going to go. These are all my borders. Um, I kind of started like fuddy duddying around with like plants and my diffuser. I think I'm going to put these two on this wall, like stacked. I don't know what I'll put in them. Maybe just pictures. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then library, just stuck some stuff around. Um, I like this idea where I have a plant, a lamp, and a sharpener on each end of this like huge shelf so that it's equal. <laughs> I still don't know what I'm gonna do with like my treasure box, my candy jar, and my spinner. I'm not positive. I don't want it to be in a place where like the kids are passing by it a lot because I don't want them messing with it. So I don't know. Treasure box and candy jar might stay over there so that they can't touch it. And then the prize wheel, I don't care. Um, and then I have like pictures and stuff that need to go up and things. Um, I still don't know what I'm gonna put in here. We'll see. Um, and then there's just more random decor pieces that need to go somewhere. This might go there or there or even there. I don't know yet. I have that clock, so I don't need technically to, but I have it, so I'll probably hang it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what's been done today, but I'm getting ready to go. And today's Friday, so that means I will not be back tomorrow. I'm going to giggle my fanny off if I come back on Monday and stuff has moved because they're trying to car uh, do the carpets. I'm just gonna giggle. Um, I hope that they would be kind enough to like pick things up, put them on tables at least. Um, you know, just to respect my things, I'm sure they will, but you never know. So anyway, I'm gonna pack up and then I will be back on Monday. I'm planning on being here all next week to A, finish the classroom, and B, start planning and prepping for the first few weeks of school. I'm gonna be starting the year off with like a couple of weeks of like basic skills, um, making observations, drawing models, um, asking questions with various little labs and activities, and then I will jump into 
my first unit of, and I'm probably gonna use mystery science, and I'll be doing the energize everything unit um, with mystery science, as long as there isn't like a set curriculum they want me to use. I have heard that the curriculum they want me to use will not be ready until January, which is fine. Um, I'll just, I'm breaking it up into units. I'm gonna do physical science this quarter, and then second quarter I'll probably do life science and maybe a little bit of earth, like weather and climate, um, just because with like winter and stuff, it'd be cool to observe weather. And then, um, quarter three earth science and then quarter four just like wrapping up everything and just kind of like reviewing the whole thing um and then of course i have to mix social studies in there as well i'll probably do like a week on a week off either that or i'll do like monday tuesday wednesday science thursday friday social studies i don't know yet we will see i don't want to like make a commitment and then not follow it or follow through. So we'll see. I also want to know like what my principal thinks, like if he cares if I do like a week on, a week off, three days on, two days off. We'll see. Um, either way, I also need to paint these cabinets next week. So I think the paint that I bought is going to be fine. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's black and it looks much better than like the scratched ones. And then the tops don't really need much at all. So I think I'll be okay. So yeah, that's how it's looking. I love the LED lights behind the TV. They're my favorite. <laughs> All right, time to go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's classroom setup video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on my socials, Instagram, TikTok, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.